Welcome. Today we'll look at Jack Nicklaus's biography, lifestyle, and net worth. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. Jack William Nicklaus was born on the 21st of January in the year 1940 to Helen and Charles Nicklaus. His father was a pharmacist and his mother was a housewife. At the age of 10, he became interested in golf. Now that the big guy is out of the cage, everybody better run for shelter. Arnold Palmer said after losing the US Open in the playoff to 22-year-old Nicklaus in 1962. Without commenting on literature, sculpture, or music, it's fair to say that Nicklaus and Palmer had a better handle on their game than Grant Land Rice, one of the most famous sports writers of the 20th century, who wrote in the Saturday Evening Post in 1940, there's no more chance that golf will give the world another Bobby Jones than it is for literature, sculpture, or music to produce another Chopin. While it's debatable if Nicklaus stroked the ball better than Ben Hogan, there's little doubt he did it. Even though Jones was the greatest golfer for the first half of the 20th century, golfers agree that Nicklaus, the finest golfer of the second half, has eclipsed him. Nicklaus played a game with which I'm unfamiliar, Jones said, after seeing Nicklaus win the 1965 Masters. And Palmer was correct. As Nicklaus's career took off after his first Pro Tour victory, Jones ruled the 1920s before retiring at the age of 28 due to the lack of new worlds to conquer. Nicklaus dominated the 1960s and 1970s and continued to win majors well into the 1980s, the last at 46. How many champions have been so inextricably linked to their sport, to every faucet of it, to its very soul that it's impossible to imagine one without the other? In Sports Illustrated, Frank DeFord penned an article, Babe Ruth for sure and Bobby Jones and Muhammad Ali. But they are few, very few. In his illustrious career, Nicklaus has risen to the top more than anyone else. Few athletes have had such a stunning start and then gradually rose, particularly without interruption, for so many years. Nicklaus has won the most majors, either 18 if just Grand Slam events are counted, or 20 if all majors are counted, and if one counts as two US amateurs. In either case, it's more than Hogan and Palmer combined. Nicklaus holds the record for the most Masters wins at 6, PGA Championships at 5, and US Opens at 5. He has also won three British Opens, becoming the first person in history to win all four Grand Slam titles at least three times. No one has ever done so twice. Only four other players, Hogan, Jenny Sarazen, Gary Player, and Tiger Woods, have won four major championships. His 70 victories on the PGA Tour are seven more than Hogan's 63 and second only to Sam Snead's 81. Not only did the man once known as Fat Jack defeat his opponents on the course, but he also conquered a country. One whale of a golfer said the title of a Sports Illustrated cover story from 1960. Nicklaus's fraternity buddies at Ohio State dubbed him Blob O. His neighbors dubbed him Whale Man, and his wife Barbara dubbed him Fat Boy according to the story. His Lifestyle When Nicklaus first joined the tour, his primary competitor was America's darling Palmer, who was dynamic, virile, and a winner. Nicklaus was the chubby kid with the blonde crew cut who should have been a tackle for Woody Hayes' Buckeye or a platoon commander in the ROTC. In the 1970s, the 5'11 Nicklaus slimmed down to a trim 190 pounds, grew his hair long, and began to gain popularity with the galleries. From Fat Jack to the Golden Bear, he transformed. He wasn't as down-home as Sam Snead or as witty as Lee Trevino. He didn't have to hitch his jeans as Palmer did. Rick Raley contributed an article to Sports Illustrated Instead, he won America's heart with genuine excellence. He admitted, I didn't win. No one recalls who came in second in anything. That isn't always the case, as we all recall Germany's second place finishes in world wars. But Nicklaus's comment demonstrated his competitive spirit. Nicklaus, who had previously stated that he would not turn pro, did so in late 1961 and departed Ohio State. In his debut professional start, the Los Angeles Open in January 1962, he finished 21 strokes behind the winner with a 289 score. He was paid over $33. Palmer said before the year's US Open in Oakmont, PA, everyone says I'm the only one who has a favorite, but keep an eye on the fat boy. With 11 holes remaining and Nicklaus trailing Palmer by five strokes, 12 for Palmer, Nicklaus made up all five strokes between the seventh and 13th holes to force a playoff. Palmer's 74 was three strokes better than his par 71. In 1962, Nicklaus was crowned Rookie of the Year after finishing third on the money list with over $61,000 in earnings. Nicklaus won his first Masters and PGA title in 1963. He won his second Masters two years later with a then record of 271, beating Hogan's record by three slots and earning Jones's plaudits. 
In addition, he made his second of eight career-earning titles. Nicklaus defended his Masters title and won his first British Open in 1966. He had already beaten all four Grand Slam events at 26. Nicklaus, a master clutch putter, dominated for most of the 1970s. Then in 1980, when many thought the 40-year-old Golden Bear had lost his touch, he won his fourth US Open at Baltus Roll in New Jersey with a tournament record of 272. He also won his sixth PGA Championship at Oak Hill in Rochester, New York, with seven shots. Nicklaus only won three more tournaments on tour, but the last one was particularly memorable. He was clearly past his prime in 1986 at 46. Nicklaus was done, washed up through, before the Masters, according to one Atlanta journalist. Nicklaus pinned the news on the fridge and then lied to it. Nicklaus shot a 65 in the final round, including a 30 on the back nine, with his son Jack the second caddying for him. He won his sixth green jacket with a 279 that beat his good friend Greg Norman and Tom Kite by a stroke. Jack and Barbara married in July 1960. Even after five decades of marriage, they're still living together. They have five children named Kale, Tevin, Gary, Ock, and Nancy. There's no information available about their marriage. There's no sign of any conflict, and they're happily married. Before we jump into the net worth, be sure to subscribe to our channel to be entered into our monthly shout-out giveaway. Comment, I subbed once done. So let's jump into their net worth. He didn't win again until 1990 when he joined the Senior Tour. He played on the PGA and Senior Tours on an intermittent basis in the 1990s. Nicklaus had already built a conglomerate with his Golden Bear International, which included endorsements, clothes, golf equipment, and most notably, golf course design, more than 180. He is a gifted golf course designer who has won multiple honors for his work. He also owns and operates one of the world's largest golf design firms. He is also an accomplished writer who has written many publications, including the well-known Golf My Way, a golf instruction book. In addition, he has written an autobiography titled My Story. He is also a skilled businessman, owning a network of private businesses and serving as the originator and host of the Memorial Tournament. His worth has been estimated to be approximately $300 million. Check out more biographies and net worth videos of your favorite golfers here.